In the picturesque town of Desaulniers Manor, a renowned photographer named Joseph, also known as X Count Desaulniers, captivated the hearts and souls of his subjects through the lens of his camera. Born into an affluent aristocratic family in France, Joseph and his brother Claude shared a deep bond, but tragedy struck their lives as illness took Claude away, leaving Joseph devastated. Overwhelmed by grief, Joseph became consumed by his art and photography. He sought solace in capturing the essence of people and objects, hoping to preserve their appearances forever. Despite his arrogance and sentimental nature, the Count's talent and wealth earned him respect and admiration. Many were drawn to his studio, lured by the opportunity to be immortalized in his captivating photographs. As the population of the nearby hamlet began to dwindle, suspicions arose, casting a dark shadow over Joseph's reputation. And in a state of panic, a man broke into Joseph's residence, expecting to find answers to the mysterious disappearances. However, they found no trace of the old gentleman. Instead, inside Joseph's studio, they were met with a chilling sight, a collection of lifelike portraits staring back at them. It appeared that Joseph's camera had captured more than just pictures. It trapped people inside. Now trapped between the realms of art and reality, Joseph's power to immortalize his subjects transcended mere photography. He got himself and everyone stuck in his fantasy with no one to fill the void clod left in his heart. And photography allowed him to preserve what was lost, but it also unleashed something beyond his control. The line between life and death became blurred. Nice to rephrase the last part of the story easier, Joseph has become obsessed with parapsychology and hopes to make some interesting modifications to his camera. He started to tell his closest friends that he had found a way to capture souls in pictures. No one took him seriously, but then they started to notice that everyone whose picture was taken by Joseph disappeared one after another. In his diary, Joseph stated, We all love a fireplace in winter when the fire is bright and warm. But when it wreaks havoc on the streets, we realize that what's common in life can turn into something completely different. He must have meant the fires of France Revolution that caused him and his family to travel and his ill twin brother to suffer worsened symptoms till he died. It's in the last pages Joseph also wrote. The maids and workers have recently become strange. It seems that they're whispering about something and more of them are taking sick leaves. Lacking help from others, the experiment had to be put on hold because of the uncontrollable shaking of both my hands and feet. Claude, I can sense the approach of old age. That's the last phrase. Right. Joseph's diary followed by many damaged lab notes of some experiences of silver nitrate being replaced by silver chloride and some use of mercury vapor right before Joseph gone missing and a rumor spread of the Desaluniers Manor being hunted by a ghost. In the end. Joseph trapped himself and probably everyone he took photos of in his stay still black and white camera world, becoming immortal but stuck in a void and not able to bring back the dead. We see him in the game as a hunter who uses his cameras to take a photo and can enter in and out his immortal world to hurt survivors' clones and photos and apply that damage to them in real life. I wonder if the manor in game is the same Dislunier's manor, and if not, I wonder how Joseph ended up here. But we'll talk about this in part two. I this, we reach the end of this video titled The Story of the Photographer Joseph de Saulniers. And maybe it will be continued in part two soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my channel for more identity V anime contents. Lastly, I will be making all identity V characters lore videos. So feel free to comment the character you want to hear about next and to get notified. Don't forget to hit the bell button 